Welcome back, Odours. My name is Jose Ignacio. Today, we're going to look into the reporting features that the Time Off app offers. We'll explore Time Off reports by employee, type, and balance. We're also going to customize these reports to focus on our team, giving us clear visibility into approved and remaining Time Off. This helps us proactively manage workloads, support employee well being, and it also allows us to ensure no accrued time is lost. So, enough chit chat. Let's jump into it and take a look at our Time Off reports. So here we are on the main time off dashboard. All my reports are found in this reporting menu up here at the top. Let's select the one by employees. Okay, so this shows me every time off request for every employee and a default list view. The default filter only shows me a request for our current year over here, followed by a grouping by employee and then further by the time off type. I can unfold these employees like I do over here with Abigail to view the different time off types they've requested. And I could further unfold these types over here to see each individual request. The information displayed tells me employee name starting from the left, number of days requested, the start and the end dates, the status of it in a description, Caribbean cruise, and ice climbing in Alaska. I am very jealous right now. But as a manager, I want to only view my team's time off requests and highlight those needing approval or second approval for just my team. So what I like to do is clear out this employee type one up here at the top. We're actually going to leave the year filter right there. And next, I'm going to filter this by my team. And then we're going to group this by the status. Great, look at that. Now I only see information for my team and I can actually easily see the requests I need to approve. Approved and the second approval ones. That's great. But what if I don't want to do that every single time? Well, I can actually go up here to the search bar, save the current search, make it the default filter, and I'm going to call it my team. Save it and boom, when we go back over here, Look at that. I can quickly jump to this report anytime I need. And let's check out reports by type. So reporting by type. Okay. So I'm presented with a bar chart of all of the days allocated to all employees grouped by time off type. Hovering over a bar shows me the total number of days. Like, oh my God, my company almost gave a thousand vacation days off. So clicking on a bar though, like the training time off takes you to a big list over here with all the records associated with it. Both allocations and time off requests as well. Let's go back over to our analysis though. Okay, I like to use this chart to see who has too much time banked and maybe encourage them to take some time off. So first, we're gonna remove our default filter over there. Give this a quick refresh. Our default type filter right there, perfect. Now it's just showing me the days by employee. Next, I'm going to remove the stacked icon. Then we're gonna make this descending. Okay, now we can very quickly see who has the most time off. Next, I only wanna see information for vacation time. So I'm gonna click into the search bar. Then we're going to add a custom filter. And this is how we get started over here. I'm going to set the first field to time off. And then this time we're going to select time off type. Okay, so perfect. And then we're going to set the last field is in. And then we're going to select vacation time off. And then I'm going to select add right there. Okay, now I only see allocations and requests for vacation time off. And would you look at that? Wow. Right now, it looks like, if I'm looking at this correctly, Charlene Rhodes has the most amount of time off. Wow, that's a lot. We need to make sure, since we cap at 60 days, so that she doesn't go over, because she's already at 59, and she's going to lose it. I need to let her know, so I'm actually going to click on our chat icon in the top right over here. And I think it's time for us to do a new message. So what is their name? Charlene Rhodes. And there we have it. Letting them know very quickly. Hey, oh, it looks like we had already reminded them too. Let's remind them again. We're pretty much set right there and let's close that out. So meanwhile, we also happen to see Cynthia Dickens over here. They just have one day left. So I think she's figured out that perfect work-life balance. Way to go, Cynthia. Okay, so the last report happens to be up here, the balance report, and let's go there. Okay, the default filter for this happens to be the year, which I'm actually going to remove. Because I just started our branch last year and I wanna see all of our time off data. That makes it easier, that looks better. This report is fairly straightforward and it happens to show, in our case, the number of days, number of hours, left, planned, and everything forward. Let's say I just want to take a look at the employees that I manage. I'm going to click into the search bar. Once again, we're going to do a custom filter. All right, let's select inside of our first one. 
I want this one to be employee. Okay. There we go. And then to the right of employee, and then we actually want to is in. Oops. Let's actually fix this. I just had a small little doopsie right there, oh doers. The end of it, we're gonna add manager. Okay. Perfect, right there. Now I just see the details for my team. If I click over here onto our flip access button, now the rows show me the time off type data right there. If I look at volunteer time off over here, this section specifically the taken metric, I can see that only Mark and Ronnie have taken any volunteer time off. I like to make sure my team is given back to the community, so I like to see all their volunteer time used up by the year end. So it actually happens to still be early in the year, but in the fall, I'm gonna come back and take a look at this data again. If people haven't scheduled their volunteer time, I'm gonna suggest some opportunities they can take advantage of so they can use their time off. That's it for this tutorial. We explore time off reports to help manage balances, encourage employees to take time off, and customize views for better insights. Now go take a well-deserved coffee break, oh doers.